Speaking about multilateral diplomacy and diplomacy for peace and uh, the way we make this issue become tangible for people, it's, it's rather complicated, but uh, I believe that here in Geneva in particular, where we have so many international organizations, government, private sector, but as well civil society initiatives and organizations, we particularly feel how multilateralism passes from um, something general to something more practical. And the first thing that comes to my mind is actually in my career something where multilateralism was really uh, contributing to achieving concrete results is the fighting against the um, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, I think it's the first time when we saw really such a mobilization of efforts from governments, from international organizations, from private sector, from everyone basically, in coming up with solution, both short terms, but also for the future. And this is something we will work in as well in the coming years uh, on a so-called renewed diplomacy or multilateralism when finding solution for all the challenges. That is why this is one good example that we can all be proud of and we should concentrate for future challenges that it, will, it is definite that we will have to face them as well. They are all very much intertwined and interconnected. And this is exactly where multilateralism is at best in helping and bridging those solutions in passing from one sector to the other. Uh, speaking about sustainable development, uh, I think we have to come with new solutions and new tools in this, these days in particular. Um, one more specific uh, area that I would like to refer is the energy diplomacy, for example. We have been using for a long time the fossil fuels, which is quite classical, but this is a, an area that involves all five Ps. So we have now to think really well how we achieve really sustainable development. We provide uh, economic sustainability, social integration for people, but also addressing one of the most um, urgent issues for all of us. This is the environment, so how do we deliver on this? And um, with a good dialogue and good cooperation, this is the only way forward. Uh, I'm looking uh, to, in the coming months, in May actually, here in Geneva, we will have at the Palais, we will have a very important, I believe, uh, event, which is the Science and Diplomacy Week. And uh, this is the time where we have to put together different actors, both uh, international, but as well uh, local governments and private sector to come up with new solutions to the challenges that we are all facing. <laughs>